Honorable Amakufibua. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to ask the Minister of Roads and Highways whether the CMI in Kofu as a Citra in Nazi Road is on the contract. And if so, when the contractor will return to site to begin work. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the same bank Crawford in Nassau Road is located in the Elamblai district of the Western Region. The road length is 28 kilometers in poor condition. The road tra traverses several communities in the oil and gas enclave in the Western Region. Mr. Speaker, the Isiama Talbukazo in Nassau Road project was awarded on contract for partial reconstruction in September 2015. And the, contract, the contractor on the project discontinued with the works, certain non-payment of work done as the main reason. The Ghana Highway Authority agreed to the Ghana Gas Company request to fund the reconstruction of the Sema and Crawford in Nassau Road project, which they obliged to fund in three phases. That's three lots. Mr. Speaker, the road has been packaged into three lots for rare award under Ghana Gas Funding and the Government Critical Road Project. The first phase of the upgrading of Isiama Talbukaso in Asi Road Project, which is from kilometer zero to kilometer 6.5, has been awarded to Mrs. Memphis Metropolitan Limited on 15th of August 2019. The project is being funded by Ghana Gas. The contractor is currently mobilizing to start work. In future, Mr. Speaker, in the remaining 20 kilometer section of the road, that's from kilometer 6.5 to kilometer 26.5, has been repackaged into two lots for rehabilitation. This, the procurement, this procurement for award will commence in the last quarter of 2019. And thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, in the minister's answer, the contract was awarded on the 18th of September 2015 under the government of Ghana. Mr. Speaker, I'm aware that the contractor on the GOG completed clearing works, some earthworks, drainage, and a lot of work were done. In fact, they said the fiscal progress of the work was 28%. Mr. Speaker, we now know that the government has terminated that contract after we had sent the contractor there to start work. Mr. Speaker, in the minister's answer, it's also clear that Memphis, the contractor, is only doing 6.5 kilometers of the road. Honorable, would you be addressing? I'm addressing the question. There are three questions. Ask them one after the other. Mr. Speaker, in the minister's answer, the road, uh, the 6.5 kilometer, which is the first lot, has been given to Memphis. The 22 kilometers is on motor. The minister's answer says the condition of the road is very bad. I, had engaged, I have engaged Ghana Gas. He said they have no funds for lot two and three at the moment. What steps is the minister taking to ensure that the road is motor in the medium term, immediately? Because that is really the economic center of the district, our food basket. Honorable Minister. I will speak a very complex question, but I'll try and address them all. The first 6.5 kilometers, which has been awarded to Memphis, on Monday, the Ghana Highway Authority is taking the contractor to site to give him possession. So at least 0 to 6.5 will be under the care of the contractor, this is Memphis. The remaining 20 kilometers, which is also in a very poor surface condition. Now, the ministry is now considering whether the Ghana gas can continue or not. But the ministry himself has programmed the these remaining 20 kilometers and uh, our critical road projects. So if Ghana Gas is not in a position to continue, the government of Ghana and uh, the Consolidated Fund 
will take it up. Because our understanding is that Ghana Gas pay this from their budget and it's being given by GMPC. So if Ghana Gas is not able to continue, the 20 kilometers will be handled by the Ghana government. In the meantime, in the meantime, while the road is in poor surface condition, I believe we can do routine maintenance on it. Grade the gravel surface when the rains are over in November. We can do routine maintenance and make it very more trouble for motorists to use. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Any further? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, in the minister's answer, 6.5 kilometers is going to be tackled by Ghana Gas. And if Ghana Gas cannot fund lot two and three, then the government will consider bringing the road back to GOG. Mr. Speaker, the minister is aware that the contract was already, already given to, under GOG in 2015. And contractor went to site. And then the government terminated the contract and said Ghana got a, a limited liability company, which is already so indebted, must undertake that road. Mr. Speaker, can the minister on the government of Ghana assure the people of Elembele, in fact, the people of Nkrofo, the birthplace of our first president, that that road will be done by the government of Ghana? Honorable Minister, sure. The Speaker, the first project, the government terminated it because the contractor discontinued with the works because of non payment. Please. Because of non payment. Now, we said limited liability company, but Cocoa Board is also a limited liability company and they are tackling a lot of roads. So, <laughs> that, that, that is not here or there. But the most interesting thing is that the government, realizing the importance of this road in the oil and gas enclave, has also placed the 20 kilometers under its critical roads project. So if Ghana Gas is not in the position, the Ministry of Roads and Highways is in the position to take it on and award it and use the consolidated fund to finance the project. I thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I use my last. Right, Honorable Speaker. No, 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 Honorable. This constituency specific. I, I was yielding my last. No, 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 there's no yielding matter. You go on. If if he has if he has advised you in a second in a certain way, it's for you to be on your feet. Mr. Speaker, can the minister assure this house? that as quickly as possible, since in his answer he admitted that the road is in a very bad condition, that some steps will be taken to maintain the road as we wait to sort this out. Yes, Honorable Minister. The speaker, thank you very much. I believe I have indicated it already, that because the road is in a very poor surface condition, immediately after the rains, which will come to an end at the end of October. Up to middle of November, we will have dry weather. The Ghana Highway Authority will embark on a routine maintenance program on that road, do grading works, and then the side ditches to make sure that the road becomes more trouble for the motorists or the motoring public. Whilst we also continue on with our procurement processes for the remaining 20 kilometers of the road. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much.